Hi. So today is October 30th, and about an hour and a half ago, I received an email from Affinity Seraph. And they, so about an hour and a half ago, I received an email from Affinity Seraph, and they finally made this announcement. So I've been checking their website uh, all day today, waiting to see if they'd released anything. And about one o'clock, I received an email because I already have the software. Um, I received an email saying, be the first to, to see it. And they sent a link to an un to an unpublished video. And so I don't know what the etiquette is about that. So I'm not going to share that that link but you it's really not necessary uh, so this is what you see if you go so whoa they have as you can see i reload the page so when you click on the link it now if you, you'll notice it now takes you to affinity studio so what they've done is combined the three software apps into one so they've taken affinity designer affinity photo and affinity publisher and unified them into a single app and it's funny because I was just talking about someone talking to someone yesterday and they were saying that they they wish that Adobe just would combine a lot of the software so you don't have to do all this jumping back and forth between the software and because there's so many similarities. So I think this is amazing. But that's not the big announcement. The big announcement is this software Affinity Studio that they have created with all of the stress people have had and worrying about uh, what's to come, it is free. They are giving it to us for free. Now, for me, this is kind of a big deal because it, for me, it answers two, it solves two problems. Um, one of the things is I'm always saying, well, I, I kind of had a couple of weeks where I wasn't sure. I even told some of my students there's this software that I normally recommend, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to recommend it. Now I can highly recommend it. It's 100% free. All they require is you go over to Canva because they a Canva acquired them and you have to sign up and then you can actually download the software. You don't have to stay online and stay logged in. You go in, you sign up for a free Canva account and then you can download the software and use it for free. And it is amazing. This personally until now, I've held on to that software. I've bought the version one. I bought version two and I just kind of keep them as backup. So when I teach, I need to teach with the Adobe products. So I always have free access to it, but I keep a copy of it uh, on the side. But after seeing what they have done with the software, I don't think this is going to be a backup for me anymore. I really want to dive in and learn how to use this software. It looks really, really cool. Um, so let me just go and go through some of the, the things that they have talked about here. I just have a list of things. Again, they just announced this point. Yeah, a couple of hours, less than a couple of hours ago. So again, the 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 parent company, Affinity, Affinity uh, is now owned by Canva. So you will have to sign up for a Canva account. Now, the twist here, one of the things that people have been worried about is, you know, are they going to introduce AI or are they going to charge for it? But again, it is now totally free and they say free forever. OK, but and, and if you have the old software, you get to keep it. You get to use it as long as you want. It's like uh, with Adobe CS6, people held on to those things for like 10 years. So you might want to hang on to the Affinity uh, version one or version two for the next 10 years and just see how things play out. Affinity Studio is free, but they will have a premium version. And with that premium version, they are going to introduce AI. OK, now the way the reason this makes me happy is if I can ever teach a class and I'm using affinity, that means all the students have it. There's none of this who has access and they have to f call up Adobe and say the student got kicked out. Everyone will have access and they will have it permanently so they won't learn the software and then they say I can't afford it and then they have to go off and learn something else. They get the software and they learn it. But by the AI being the being the premium version, if you want to pay for it, that's fine. Um, a lot of people don't like AI. So now here's your software. You get to use AI. And when I teach, I hesitate to teach the AI. I think the student, students need to learn it. But at the same time, I think 
they need to learn the basics first. So now it's sort of like, you know, a karate kid where Daniel San went to learn uh, karate and he had him wash the cars and paint the fence. And that was his secret way of building up his strength. And then he said, OK, now you're going to fight. And I feel like learning with affinity without the AI is building up those muscles and learning those core skills. And then when you're ready, you pay that extra and you can use the AI skills because you're ready to fight and you're ready to, you know, do things quickly. And, and, you know, after you get those core skills down, but anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Um, a couple of things, just keep this in mind, premium features, especially the AI tools will, uh, will be locked behind a subscription or tied to the Canva ecosystem in some sort of way. So you will have to pay for it if you want the AI tools. And if you haven't used Canva, that's pretty darn amazing. I've used the free version of it for years. They have paid version, uh, but I have never personally felt the need to, to go to the paid version because I use other tools, but it's an amazing software. There are a couple of things that I found really interesting. And one of those tools that I that looked interesting is this glitch filter. I just thought this looked really cool. I've created effects like this within Adobe Photoshop manually. Um, maybe they have something now to do it automatically like this, but I thought this was really cool. So I can't wait to get my hands on that. But I'll probably download it later today and play play with it because it's already available. All right. And the other thing that is a big deal, they said, if you have already purchased Affinity version one or, fin or version two, you will get access to a font collection. I believe you said it was 40 fonts and it was uh, curated by uh, Fontsmith and you'll get access to that. Uh, I don't know if everyone gets access to it or you'll probably get access if you get the paid version. But if you have those other versions that you've paid for, you will get access to it. And that is something that I am definitely going to be using. So if you want to hop over to Verge and read the article that they've already published, I'll leave a link in the description below. And it says right here, get affinity. You click right there and it takes you here. All you have to do is click that button and sign up for free. I already have an account, actually. Let me see what happens. It's telling me that I already have an account and boom, and I have it. So I'm going to hit that download button, uh, download that, and I'm ready to go. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm going to be playing with Affinity this afternoon. For whatever it's worth, I think this is a big shift in the in this type of software as far as who has the market share. I think this is going to really gain a big following and it does everything you need to do. There's no AI unless you want it and everything's all rolled into one neat package. So I need to get out of here because I need to go play with the software and I will see you later.